Hello YouTube, this is our Wheatley 0206 and I've been at Indiana Comic Con this entire day <laughs> but I wanted to do this video tonight because it has been a month since we've done the uh, comic book community want list so I wanted to uh, do that tonight, um, do my monthly since I've changed it to a monthly I wanted to get this uh, monthly video up by Saturday morning so I'm going to do this video tonight uh, by the way I had a great time at Indiana Comic Con it was a blast uh, seeing Neil Adams again and and uh, a few others uh, Ariel Ottavelli I think is his name uh, Ron William or Ron Wilson I uh, got some books signed by him and uh, Joe Rubenstein was there as well. So I got a uh, book signed by him. Um, so anyway, and I got to meet uh, Matt, or you guys would know him as Funk Off. And uh, I met him there today, so that was pretty awesome. And I'm not going to do a video tonight on the Comic-Con. Uh, I'm just going to concentrate on the... Um, comic book community want list so like I said it's been a long day so I hope we can get through this okay so I'm gonna start off with um, comic geek McD and he is looking for Batman the killing joke uh, let's see if I can get this to focus a little better and I don't know if he got that or not. Uh, last I heard, Epicurean Eye Relief had the killing joke. And I don't know uh, if they ever got together and got that worked out or not. So please let me know if, uh, if you've got that book now or if you're still looking for it. So uh, if you're still looking for it, I'd be more than happy to keep it on the list. But just uh, let me know if you got that. So uh, the next one up. For Comic Geek McD is Batman Annual number 25. Uh, let's see. From May of 2006. You can see the picture there. I'm having to stretch to hold this out there. Let me try this. Okay, so there you go. He's also looking for, uh, let's see. Batman Volume 1, number 611. And Batman Volume 1, number 617. Let's see if I can get both hands up here. There we go. And that's what it looks like. Okay? All right. So, next up, we have... This is also for Comic Geek McD. Uh, Batman Volume 1, number 618. Let me get this over here where you can see if I can get it to focus on it here. There we go. Okay, then we go to Metarog. And I think he's still looking for a Marvel Spotlight number 5. Uh, in any complete condition. There we go. And he's also looking for The Incredible Hulk, Volume 1, number 377, third printing. And I did get the proper picture up here because I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, the uh, barcode at the bottom is where you can tell the third printing. And Fantastic Four, Volume 1, number 110, error cover. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. Okay. All right, next up. This is still for Metarog. Superman Mail Edition 443. Mail Edition with the name of a mall 
in the UPC like Rhode Island Mall or Fiesta Mall. This one here happens to be a copy of the one with Fiesta Mall. Uh, if you can make that out at the bottom there. Okay, he's also looking for Batman Superpowers mini book with Burger King logo. And of course, I never did find a picture of that, so I've got a picture of the Superman with the Burger King logo on it. And Atari Waterworks comic, comic that came with the game. And now we have the proper picture in there, so <laughs> there you go. Okay, and then uh, Escargo T80. Come on. Get this thing to focus a little better. I don't like the way this camera focuses. Any old school Hughes book, if you can make that out. And it's really being it's really being a bugger tonight. There we go. Okay. Any old school Hughes book. That's for S Cargo T eighty. Maybe I'm holding it too close. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Simply Incredible Podcast is looking for... Let's get this back here. Arkham Asylum Series 2 Bane figure from DC Direct. Mint in box and under $75. And it looks like... Let me see if I can get that a little closer. Looks like that. Okay, now, switch hands here. Who's Your Nerd is looking for Marble Kiss comic number two. Also, any comic from December of 1968. And this is the Kiss comic here. And I never have fixed this for my name. R. Wheatley 0206 is what it should say. But anyway, I'm looking for Batman... Volume 1, number 232, complete and at least a 4.0. And that one came out as a facsimile cover this week. There we go. Came out as a facsimile cover this week. And I took that one to Indiana Comic Con and had uh, Neil Adams sign it today. <laughs> Batman 234, complete and at least a 4.0. Two face cover. Come on. There we go. All right. I am also looking for Batman Volume 1, number 680. Get this back here. That is a Tony Daniels variant. There we go. Okay. Detective Comics 395. Complete and at least a 5.0. I did. Let's see. No, I did not find this one. I did find it today, but <laughs> I wasn't going to pay that price for it. Detective Comics 400. Complete and at least a 5.0. Man Bat cover. Sorry to be shaking this around so much, but uh, where am I at? Here we go. I've got the camera set back away from me, so I'm having to lean over the table to get it. Okay, Detective Comics 402, completing a 5.0. Looks like... Oh man, this thing is just being a real terror tonight. Okay. Oh, we're getting through this. It's kind of warm in here tonight. Air conditioner's not running at the moment. And I've got this big old light on. <laughs> and it's extremely warm. You know what? I'm going to pull this camera just a little closer. So I can get to it a little better. Okay, now. Detective Comics. 866 
complete and an 8.0 this funky looking joker on the front of it there and then house of mystery volume one number 191 I actually found that one it's probably not quite a 6.0 but I did find that one uh, I forgot it was still on here Superman vs. Muhammad Ali that's a uh, Treasury Edition C56 completing at least a 4.0 I actually found a couple of these today at uh, Indiana Comic Con but I wasn't they wasn't even a 4.0 and they were wanting over $30 for it so no thank you Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 361 first printing completing at least a 7.0 Well, I guess it's not going to focus on that. So I'll keep it back here so you can make it out. I don't think this camera likes it too well when you get stuff too close to it. All right. Now, Salvation Run number seven. Neil Adams variant completing at least an 8.0. I actually saw a poster for this today, but... Uh, I don't really want the poster, I just want the book. Okay, now, Amazing Spider-Man 112, completing at least a 4.0. Looks like that. Okay, then we have Reader 1717, Blu-ray movies, any kind, but especially the uh, Never Ending Story, Toy Story 1 and 2, and Scream. I don't know that he's ever got any of these. Uh, he's not contacted me and let me know. So uh, if you are watching this, Reader1717, let me know if you ever got any of those. Or, or you know, if you need, still need it to stay on the list. Then we've got Tomb of Comics. He's looking for the Incredible Hulk number 181. Any condition but intact. And I think everybody probably knows what that one looks like. <laughs> so anyway he's still looking for that as far as I know I haven't heard anything from anybody since I done the last video so I haven't had anything added um, on the last video on number 27 um, Farley's Nerd Cave he added that ROM book but that's the only new one we've had put on here so uh, let's see Iron Man volume 1 number 76 looks like that okay that was okay I'm I'm losing track that was for tomb of comics <laughs> all right who's next Robert the comic book G spot amazing spider-man number 101 also any first series silver surfer and any first series submariner but this is what's uh, Amazing Spider-Man 101 looks like and then Jeff comics or Jeff comic 813 Vampirella number one any grade come on there it goes okay now you can see it and then he is also looking for Vampirella, the 1 in 50 Alex Ross cover. And I have not found a picture of that, but I do need to continue to look for that because I'm not sure what that looks like. All right. He is also looking for Evil Ernie number 1. There we go. Evil Ernie number 1, any grade. Okay. And then Captain Dadpool is looking for X-23, Target X, number one. Okay. Big Lion Cat 646, Avengers Forever, volume one. Westfield Comics exclusive variant cover, 9.8 CGC for about a hundred bucks. Looks like this. 
Okay, and then Farley's Nerd Cave. Punisher Year One, Volume One, Number Three. Would also take the trade paperback. All right. Also for Farley, we have Punisher Year One, Number Four. Would also take the trade paperback for that one. And he's looking for Rom Space Knight, Volume 1, Number 1, at least a 5.0 grade. Okay, Marvel Me This. Doctor Doom and the Masters of Evil, Number 3, complete in at least a 7.0 grade. Uh, and he is willing to do some trading. So there's that one. Doctor Doom and the Masters of Evil number four. Same conditions, also willing to trade for that one. Okay. We're getting closer to the bottom, guys and gals. Dark Hawk number four. Uh, <laughs> this is also, hang on a second. Yeah. This is also for Marvel Me This. Darkhawk number four. And he can only trade for this one. So it must be an expensive book. And Darkhawk number five. Same deal. Okay. Mark Spector Comics. Tales of Suspense number 50, mid grade or better. Looks like that. And then Josh R. Comics and Games, Batman number 428. Okay. I saw some of those today at Comic Con because I still need that one as well. I didn't get it. <laughs> so I think the guy wanted like, I want to say $35 for that thing. I was like, no. <laughs> okay. Last page, guys. Bear with me. Batman number 497. The Breaking of the Batman. And Spawn number 28. Come on. There we go. All right. And those two are also for Josh R. Comics and Gaming. All right. That's it. <laughs> that is all of them. Um, I will do a video probably tomorrow. I'm not going to do it tonight because it's already five after 11 <laughs> and I think I'm pretty much done for the day but I will show you this I picked up a few books at my LCS this week very few mind you only picked up three because I was going to this comic con today and I didn't want to spend too much money so uh, but I did pick up the facsimile version of the house of secrets uh, what is this one or 92 very nice book that is a uh, Bernie Wrights and yeah Bernie Wrights and cover and then I picked up uh, detective comics 1010 and I don't remember who the I don't remember who the this is the B cover, but I don't remember who did the cover. And I picked up uh, Batman Curse of the White Knight number two. This is also the B cover. I know uh, Boom Boom Comics, he picked up the A cover because he likes... Uh, 
the character Azrael, and Azrael's on the front cover on that one. So, <laughs> anyway, so that is the comic book community want list for um, August 30th. And uh, I will do this again in another month, but please. If you have anything to add or if you have anything that I need to change on this uh, on this list, please let me know. Leave a comment uh, in this video so that I can uh, make the proper changes. If you found some of the books, uh, you know, let me know so I can take them off the list. If you have other things you want added to the list, please let me know so I can get it added uh, before we do the next the next video. Um, if I get, a, you know, if I get several people adding to the list or whatever, then I may do the video again, you know, in less than a month. But uh, it's been right at, I think the last one I did was on uh, uh, August 3rd, yeah. I think that's when I'd done the last video. So I got this one in a little bit before the 3rd of September, but... Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get it out there so people would be thinking about that. Um, you know, I don't want anybody to forget that we have this list going. So, uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for my video on Indiana Comic Con. I did take a little bit of footage while I was there, you know, just kind of looking around and stuff. Um, and uh, so I did that, and then I'll show you some books I got because I did get several books I got some signed and I bought a bunch <laughs> but I did good because I took uh, I only spent half of the cash that I took with me so my wife was happy about that <laughs> so anyway thank you all for watching have a great weekend and we'll see you all next video